Hello and welcome to GMT Driving School again and what we've got here is the uh, Anisford roundabout from a couple of different directions um, a couple of more interesting things to take note of so in this first example we've got um, masses of traffic so the problem here is the congestion so obviously when we are trying to get in an appropriate lane that can be quite difficult um, and if you know your test routes or you you know about them from the Blythe area, we'll need to go to A189, excuse me, the A19 uh, northbound, which is in the right hand lane. And as you can see, it's reasonably hard to get over there. So unlike when you're doing a 30 mile an hour road where you've got to check mirrors to make sure it's safe to proceed in this one, you'd still check your mirrors, but you would need to signal even though there's going to be heavy presence there. So you're almost like asking for permission with the signal. So you're asking people to give you that little bit of flexibility and we've pulled out left so yeah there's the blue light so checking the mirrors is important a lot um that also happened today actually when we were down there there was a big crash so an ambulance went flying down the middle so you've you've got to use their mirrors quite often especially when you're in heavy traffic so there was our opportunity to change lanes and that's what we've done now we're in the appropriate lane to carry on where we're meant to be going so top tip here is Obviously check your mirror, your left mirror, reasonably often for motorbikes trying to filter or that uh, police or ambulance coming. And try and stay away from the vehicle in front so you don't get your mind bogged down with just watching the car in, or the motorbike in front, any vehicle. Um, leaving a good gap will help you relax a little more as well and it'll help you look at the road markers and signs without having to stare at the car in front. Okay, and by this point we were reasonably um, worried about blocking the road from our right there so we've got the green light or we'll be getting the green light and the question is you know one of the first questions I, I do ask on your lesson one is what does a green light mean well a green light means you may proceed if it's safe to do so it doesn't just give you the right to go so in this one we were having a discussion about if we proceed at the green light where will that leave us because we shouldn't be blocking any traffic from the right so 
So when that green light shows, obviously the car in front's gone. Now we need to make a good assessment and think, well, if we proceed, what will happen next? So if you scan beyond the car in front, you can see we've got stationary traffic. So it just isn't worth proceeding any further than this, because if we did, we'd potentially block the traffic. Now, if you're looking ahead, you can see cars moving. Then we think to ourselves, well, there's enough room for us without blocking a lane. So we'll go and take that space. And what I've done next is just highlight, again, there was just enough space for us. And then this car behind thought they had enough room to not block traffic. So they proceeded to. Going back to what we were saying before, always worth checking mirrors and even a bit of a gap in front of you because you never know uh, who's going to come on along next to you. So leave that little bit of gap if you can so you can keep an eye on road markings and road signs to keep you informed of what's going on. And remember that old saying, tyres on tarmac? If you check the right mirror, you can see the motorbike coming up, filtering. So always be aware especially in heavy heavily congested areas that things might come alongside you so when you proceed just make sure you're not steering and maybe interacting with that so on, on our other video and if you've had uh, the tutorial you'll know that this single lane duels all right so we would want to always move into the left hand part of the carriageway and that will come up a lot on spiral roundabouts because remember that function is to spit you off to the left without lane changing so when the lane splits, take the left split, which we've done here. Now we have a similar question as we did before. At the green, if it's safe, we should proceed, but we've got a lot of congestion there. So the question is, should we proceed and make that congestion worse? Will the traffic move? Well, all we can really do is, is hang out in a safe spot. And if it's not safe to proceed, we're just gonna hang out until a little bit more of a gap comes. And it looks like the decision to stay still, it looks like it would be a smart one at this time. The lights have just changed. And if we were in front of the line, we'd now be with that uh, Mercedes in front, um, having to just wriggle our way through traffic there. Go and follow your heart. Doesn't matter how far There is so much love to give Something's telling me this time Baby, baby, now I know Baby, baby, gotta go Okay, so Red light's still on Congestion's high again Looking at the traffic lights to the right there Green, so that should clear up So now if you think, well, we've got a green But it's congested To the right we had green light So the good few cars should clear We'll make a little bit of progress on this road and it's quite normal to see that level of backup in um, or backed up traffic in rush hour so we just take position we wait we're not blocking anyone right now because people to our left will be the red light for the for the moment so we're just waiting for that to clear and then we'll proceed to the nearest gap when it forms so remember like kind of the the only thing that we're trying to do here is trying to make some progress and we've had to stay still at a few um, at a few green lights just because if we proceeded we'd block traffic. So that's what we've been trying to avoid the most here, and it's worked out quite well. Okay, in this example. Uh, we are going to follow signs to A189 southbound. So spot the similarities and which you do from all directions. First thing we do is check the signs, get the information. Then we do an MSM drill once it's safe. So we make our lane change and the signage to our left, that roundabout sign might be useful, but really the road is going to dictate, the signage on the road is going to dictate where we put the car and how we proceed. Yeah, alright. 
Okay, remember your basics here, we're just in the lane, staying in the lane, and following the road mark. So A189 South is there, get around the corner and look for A189 South, which is on the right hand side, A19 South is on the left, so we've been instructed to take this lane. Here's our lane split in front of us, so we're carrying on A189 South. So remember that key one from going uh, on the normal route, when the lane splits, go to the left split, and here it is again. When we come around the corner, that singular lane turns into a dual lane. So we dive into the left one because that's for normal driving. And if you're in the right with this big lorry, that would be the overtaken lane. So if you are ending up in the overtaken lane, remember to get a move on. And then as soon as it's safe, proceed back to the left. Okay, and the last one is kind of coming from the Silverlink area. Remember, this comes up a lot where, you know, as a student and on your test, you will have to do the speed limit. I always do, you know, that it is the rule. Everyone else will be going a lot faster than that. Well, that's not your fault. Do the speed limit, do the law, and you'll be just fine. So we're turning right, A189 northbound. If you look at this sign coming up, there's three lanes are about to appear, and we need lane number two. So remember, a good, clean MSM routine will be indicating to these cars in the rear to tell them that we need to shift lane here. If you waited too long, you might not be able to do that. So there's your lane number two of three, it went eight nine north. The right hand lane still goes the same place, but you would end up in the overtaken lane. So not a tragedy, but you would have to get a move on when you came off the roundabout. It's not a roundabout, is it? We keep getting told that. The interchange, let's call it that. All right, remember the basic rules that we keep saying, get in lane, stay in lane, and if the lane splits, let it split and move off to the left. So when I'm when I'm on this uh, this round, but I like to just focus in on them long white lines to my right. See the, the students nearly like going over that line there. Um, that's pretty much why I mention it. You you just keep them white lines in your peripheral vision. Keep tracking along next to them so you don't cross over them, and you won't come out of position and you won't be dangerous. So top tip: just keep looking at them lines. Keep following the lines. Um, and you'll be all right. You'll get off the roundabout exactly where you should. And don't worry if you go the wrong way because, you know, who cares? We go the wrong way all the time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> 